It's at the Malthouse. It is not based on the motion picture, Mm -hmm. which was based on a a book written by the doctor who looked after Joseph Merrick. His name's Frederick Treve. It is not based on the play that has had many iterations with David Bowie, with... um, What's his name? Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper. That's right. Just recently, Bradley Cooper. Now, it's it's an original work. It doesn't mention where it gets its source material from, but a lot of it is is an an imagined view of the life of Joseph Merrick from when he's a very young boy, uh, not to his death, and it examines how we view people who are disabled and how they become can become invisible and they feel that their place is as a response or reaction to the way other people view them and it's a very very moving play it could possibly change your life if you've had anybody in your life that has suffered from spina bifida or, or some form of palsy or, or disability uh, it it, it will resonate with you, and if you haven't, it may make you think about the kind of world that we live in and the kind of world that presents itself to disabled people. Is it a one-man show? No. It's a five-person show. Five actors. Two of them are disabled. Mm-hmm. Uh, the main actor, whose name is Daniel Marks, he plays Joseph Merrick. He is disabled. He's m- mostly paralyzed in his right side, and he does a remarkable job there's, is, there's no makeup like the oh, really? like the John Hurt it's it's not uncommon if you if you look at some of the uh, I mean there's makeup but, but no no makeup creating uh, Joseph Merrick's physique if you, if you don't know about the elephant man Joseph Merrick has a disease that's been recently diagnosed as Proteus syndrome and it is a genetic mutation which results in uh lesions on your skin uh, cysts on your lungs your skeleton grows out of proportion and it progresses so it never you know you don't get better is it treatable basically. In, well now now you, there, yeah. are, there are certain surgeries you can do to deal with the 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 excessive growth of the skin and with the, the skeleton only 200 people in the world have it it's one of the wow. rare, rarest things in the world wow. yeah okay. he his there yeah you know, there are photographs on the internet and articles if if people are interested in seeing how he looks it, it, i imagine that he was in not just discomfort but a tremendous amount of pain mm. that's not really dealt with in the play his pain is really a pain of of social and emotional pain of of being forced to be uh, viewed in certain ways, poked and prodded by medical staff and uh, exhibited as a sideshow freak and he he emerges as like this triumphant homo deus at the end like this is a, uh, there's a, a sense of power and triumph at the end of the play which is very emotional and uplifting uh, and perhaps not true to the reality but that's why it might be called the real and imagined history because mm. it's a great way of looking at his his life what we know of it because th- th- one of the sideshow men who exhibited him wrote an unpublished book and the doctor frederick treve 40 years after his death wrote uh, a book and so there's not a huge amount of material but there's there are some good things available if people are interested in finding more about him mm. the film i remember i haven't seen it you know for decades i remember the film being really enjoyable as well i think the film's terrific yeah, yeah, yeah. it it got some things wrong as films do or, or chose to do some things that w- weren't as they happened uh, i think that the uh writer and director of this take a perhaps unkind view of Frederick Treve who was a great friend to Merrick uh, he looked after his needs he provided two rooms not a cell but two rooms on the ground floor of the London hospital where he worked where he lived out the last four or so years of his life he mm. was fed he was bathed he had clothes he was treated with dignity he, he went out into the country to experience something that most men you know disabled or not and women would never have been able to experience them, which is fresh air. Yeah. And he spent weeks in the summer collecting flowers and, and making friends with people. He, he, he had a, a horrible life in many respects, but, but the last few years of his life were, were, were happy to the extent that they could be.